In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to tackle these nasty scum marks that you find on your car emblems. Now, it's something you're always gonna find, especially if your car's been down the local hand car wash. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what this is and how you can fix it. So basically, what we're looking at here is hard water. And this is just from poor drying techniques. That's pretty much all it is. So if you go to dry your car with a towel and you fail to remove the remaining drips, then you may end up with a layer of hard water, also known as spotting. And this is highly common in the summertime when you park near garden sprinklers on a hot day. But the main focus of today is the emblems. So we have one main chemical that we're gonna be using for this test, and this is G-Technic water spot remover. But before we start using this product, we have to carry out a main pre-wash, which includes cleaning all the key areas, as we will be brushing the emblems to get the worst of the dirt off. So it is essential that we reduce the risk of scratching. Here's the thing, even before we start using any chemical, it's still equally important just to give it a good brush. And I know you're not gonna get everything out, but it still makes your life a little bit easier because you don't wanna waste any product because it's not very cheap if you wanna buy any dedicated water spot removers, whereas it's very cheap if you wanna get a shampoo. Once you're happy with the cleanliness of the car, you can get it ready for the next step. So now the car's had a complete wash, we need to make sure that this thing is gonna be 100% dry. But more importantly, we need to make sure the badge area is dry because what we don't want to do is dilute the chemical anymore because the idea is you have to spray it onto a dry surface. So essentially what we're going to be using is a pet dryer. Now these are a very cheap and cheerful tool that any car cleaner can use. And this one cost about 50 pounds off Amazon. And what's great about these is you can tackle all the little nooks and crannies. Now granted, I mainly stick with a drying towel if I'm doing the larger sections of a car. But when it comes to all around the lights and more importantly, the badges, that's where this thing comes into its own. And you can see here, this stain around the badge is simply hard water. So this just goes to show the importance of spending a little extra time drying the car. Okay, so the car's all ready to go. We just need to give the bottle a shake, put a few squirts on a cloth, and then start working it into each section at a time. Now you don't want to go too mad and do a massive emblem or like loads of different areas and then come back to it. Just focus on one little section at a time because we want to be thorough here. We want to make sure that this looks perfect because we don't really want to be wasting any more time coming back to it later on. So alternatively, I know it says you can't really dilute this product down and it says use it when it's dry, but I've used it in the past during the washing process where I've just sprayed it on whilst the car was wet and I've used a brush and I've sprayed a few bits on a brush as well. And it's also done the job pretty well. Once we've worked it in, we then take a dry towel and basically just go over the area we've just been. So we need to be quite liberal with using this chemical. I'm not gonna say be very sparing with it because you really do want this to work and you wanna do it in the first attempt. You don't really wanna come back to it. So alternatively, you can spray a few bits on an old brush and work it in very gently. And it just helps get into those little tiny areas that you might not be able to tackle because there's only so much you can do when you've got a towel. You see, they recommend you use this, but you can't always get it right in because there's a few tight spaces. So the brush is another good thing to have, but make sure you use a really soft brush because you don't want to go scratching this. It's just a bit of a fiddly process. Like I know in a perfect world, you just want to spray it on, let it dwell and then agitate it and then wash away. And you can do that because I've done it on several occasions where I've just soaked it and then washed it away and it's done pretty much the same job. Water spot removers can easily remove those white rings on your paint caused by garden sprinklers and also dried chemical stains around the engine bay. And speaking of engine bays, we have a dedicated video all about how to clean yours without damaging your car right here. 